Guys, I have a cool video for you today because I just recently made my first ever trade on the Trade Block app. Now, they're not sponsoring this video or anything like that, but I do have a lot of sneakers. I have a lot of sneakers in this room. I have a lot of sneakers in another room. So basically, I was trying to maybe trade like two of my sneakers for like one sneaker and stuff like that. And some of the trades that I was getting were kind of crazy. It seems like on that app, a lot of people are just trying to like win the trade, not necessarily trying to trade fairly or whatever the case may be. But I did get offered one trade that I accepted and I just got the sneaker that I traded for in hand today so I want to know what you guys think that I win or lose out on this trade now to get into the beginning of the trade I want to let you know what I gave up in this trade so I gave up an Air Jordan 1 High OG in the Hyper Royal colorway, and I also gave up an Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray. Now, both of those sneakers I actually paid retail for. I got the Hyper Royal on a Jordan Reserve kind of restock on the Nike Sneakers app, and the Jordan 11, it was a double up for me. You know, the Cool Gray, I, I think I got two or three pairs of those actually. Um, so it wasn't a sneaker that I necessarily like was like too worried about keeping in my collection or anything like that. The Hyper Royal, I do really like that sneaker. That one was a little bit harder to part with just because I really like that shoe, but I never wore it. You know, I never wore it. I was always sort of waiting for like a special time to wear it. It just never really happened. And the prices for them have come down dramatically. You know, a couple of years ago, it was like a $400 shoe and now it's like two something. You know what I mean? It's not really going for like a whole bunch of crazy money or anything like that. So at worst, I was thinking, man, I could always circle back and pick that up if I really, really want to. You know what I mean? Um, but then, you know, I traded for this sneaker right here, which we're going to unbox here in a second. Um, but the thing about the Trade Block app, right? And then I got several offers where people were trying to basically, you know, send me used sneakers, send me sneakers that were not in my size and things like that. And, you know, asking for like straight bangers for me, you know, they wanted, you know, just Chicago lost and founds white cement threes for like a used Yeezy that, you know, <laughs> isn't even my size. So there is a lot of that type of stuff on trade block. You know, I'm sure that there's people on there that trade fairly and, you know, try to do a good job of making things like even the best that they can, do you know what I mean? But there is a lot of like weird kind of trades that people propose, just sort of trying to like get over on the next one, win the trade, you know? Um, but I never really used trade block all like that, you know? But um, I was just sitting here bored, you know, and just trying to make trades. So I, I sent out a couple of trades. I was trying to get a couple of sneakers that I'm still trying to get actually. Uh, this was one of them, um, but you know, when it comes to the trade block app, as far as like how everything worked, um, you do pay like a small fee because you ship trade block the sneakers and the other person ships their sneaker to trade block and then they authenticate it or whatever and then send it to you. So I believe that the fees associated with this trade were something for me in the neighborhood of like 30 something dollars. Nothing too crazy, right? You know, especially if you're getting a sneaker that you really, really want, but you gotta kind of factor that in to what you're giving up in a trade. So I gave up two sneakers, the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal and the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray, both size eight. And um, I got a pair uh, in return. So let's get into this and I'm gonna show you what I got in return. And the reason why I wanted this sneaker is because I think the prices for this are gonna go up fairly quickly like nothing nothing immediate but i think in like the next year or so we're gonna see the price of this sneaker increase so i definitely wanted to get it and this is actually a double up for me i actually already have this sneaker but it was hard to not get another one all right so here we got an Air Jordan 1 box, and some of you guys may know what this is already, some of you guys may not, right? But this, let's pop this lid off. Inside, uh, they do give you a uh, trade block. I guess this is an authentication card, and this is what they give you right here. And it has a signature, so I guess this is like an authentication kind of tag, similar to like GOAT or StockX or something like that. But this is a Travis Scott. Air Jordan 1 Low Canary and I hit on the Nike sneakers app for this and I you know when it comes to getting another pair of them you know somebody offered me this trade actually I didn't offer this trade and when I saw the trade I was like you know what that's not a bad deal because like right now I mean these are going for in my size like around like 400 bucks but 
If you look at a lot of the Travis Scott Jordan 1s that have come out, they always go up in value, right? The, um, the olives, the olives that came out, whenever they dropped, that was like a $500 shoe. Now it's like a $1,000 shoe, and that was only like a year ago. The Black Phantoms, you know, those were sitting for like four, dollars $500, and the smaller sizes, like my size, now it's a $1,000 shoe. So right now, right now, I feel like getting these for the price that they're going for right now is a great time to get them. You know, if you can get them for 400, for something, 450, it's probably gonna be worth it because even though this is the worst colorway for an Air Jordan 1 low, Travis Scott, these are gonna go up in price just like everything else. You know, a year from now, year and a half from now, this is gonna be $1,000 and you're gonna be wishing that you picked them up. So, you know, me getting another pair of these, man, like I can rock one of these now and keep one socked away for the future because I actually really like this sneaker a lot. I've liked it since the moment that I heard it was coming out. It was a slam dunk must call for me. Had I not got a W on the Nike sneakers app, I probably would have paid the resale for it, you know, just to get it. But I was lucky enough to get the W on the sneakers app and then I made this trade. But let me know what you guys think of my trade. Was this sneaker worth the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray, brand new, and the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal brand new dead stock. Let me know. But me, I kind of think like it was an even trade. You know, I got both of those sneakers for retail, paid around 400. This is going for like 400. So I feel like it was a fair even trade, but let me know what you guys think down below. Guys, I want to tell you about a brand new app that I just recently discovered and it's called Kicksnap. And what I really like about this app is it's like Shazam, but for sneakers. And they have a brand new version of this out right now and you can download it for free for either Android or iOS devices. Now, what I really like about this app, besides being like a cool, fun way to shop for sneakers, is they have an image search ability tool. So if you're ever out and about and you see a sneaker on someone's foot or even in a store and you're not exactly sure what the sneaker is called, you can just take a picture of it and it's gonna tell you what the sneaker is, what it's called, and how much it's going for out on the secondary market on places like StockX, Goat, eBay, or Amazon. And it's a really cool app, man. It's been super helpful to me, and I highly recommend downloading this app today. You can find a link for it down in the description box below. So go ahead and download Kicksnap today. Real quick, I was just looking through the box, and the person that I traded with actually provided the original receipt from Undefeated. So here I have it, and you know, hundred and what, sixty-two ninety after tax and the retail price of the shoe, and it came from looks like Phoenix, Arizona. So. That's pretty cool, man. Got the original receipt with the kicks. So, you know, shout out to the uh, the person that I traded with. I don't know you or anything like that, but if you see this video, hey, thank you so much for the trade, man. Good business, my guy. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for your time, your attention, all the support you guys show me. Road to 15,000 subscribers. At 15K, I'm giving away a sneaker. Any sneaker, any size, up to $500 in value. So if you rock with your boy and you haven't yet already subscribed, man, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and guys, hit that like button, share these videos out let everybody know what we got going on over here because as soon as we hit 15k man i'm gonna give you guys a sneaker any sneaker you want but i love you guys i'll see you in the next video real soon i'm out peace for more sneaker content make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video